Hey everyone, so yes, this is the day after I went to Glee Live. This is going to be my Glee Live experience. I also wanted to show you my Kurt Hummel shirt while it's on me. And I'll show you the back too. Yes, so I'll be showing you what I got. And I also have a bunch, I have like tons of videos I recorded. Um, a lot of them are me screaming and talking and singing during the videos, so they're not quality, and since I had to take back my HD camera, they're on this crappy camera, so really not great zoom, but I got pretty good seats when you see the videos, which I will put some in this video, and I will put some on Tumblr, because I don't want to get flagged, so I will not be posting separate videos of them. Probably not, so sorry, but anyway, you know, you'll find better, vlog uh, better videos of them anyways, um, but yeah, um, so Glee Live, amazing. Probably the best experience of my life. It's my, 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 It was my first real concert. Um, and so I went with my sister, and we we rode a bus to Chicago Airport O'Hare, and we got a shuttle to the arena, and then we waited in line for about, I want to say like 45 minutes, it was really hot, and a lot of people liked my shirt, and I was like, oh, there's some Kurt lovers, some Klain lovers out there, so that's awesome. And once we got into the building, um, me and my sister, we had the um, online tickets, so we didn't have to go and get our tickets separately, so we were, we were all ready to go. And we went to the building, and we, I was like, Allie, we have to go to the merchandise, because I don't want to wait in this long-ass line. And we weren't that far off from the door, I mean, we were like near the end of the gate, there was like the whole line down, this, down to the door, like here we are, and then there's like the door right there, I can't even describe it, and then it wrapped around, so thank God that we got there early enough, and once we got in, we were in the merch line, it wasn't that long, uh, right when we got in the line, there was a whole bunch of people more coming, so we were pretty good in line, um, and so what I got is, I got a Glee Live shirt, extra large for the large ladies again. Um, this is a shirt that I wanted, I knew I wanted to get when I um, knew they were doing merchandise. So I was like, I have to. It says Glee Live. It has all of them on there. It even has Blaine and Sam and Mike on there. And on the back, it says the cities that they toured in. And Blaine is right next to Kurt. Holla bitches. Um, I also got... I was really happy I got this because I just got it mainly because of Kurt, but okay. Uh, hold on a second. Okay. Likes boys. Yes. And on here on the side it says Glee Live. Can you see that? Glee Live Tour 2011. Um, yeah. I don't know how much they were. I think that one was 35 and this was too, I have no idea how much. They didn't have all of the um, Born This Way shirts. They even had, like, girls. They didn't have Charity Mouth. Me and my sister wanted Charity Mouth. My sister got I'm With Stupid, er, Stupid uh, the Britney shirt, um, the Pointing Arrow off because she likes Britney. And they didn't have Artie's either because she's a big Artie fan. So, um, yeah, if you see my Artie videos, you'll see me ta maybe talking during the background because my sister loves Artie. Um, and I also got, of course, I had to get this. I got the Foam Finger Hello from the Regionals episode. Loser like me, hey. So, um, I had to. It was only ten bucks anyways. And I was like, hell yeah, this is like a good souvenir. And I also got a poster. This is only ten dollars too. Can you see? We'll start from here. And look, Kurt is right next to Blaine. I don't, I don't like that Blaine has that serious look on his face. He's like, hey. But whatever, you know. And then... They are. I have no idea where I'm going to put this. This one is much bigger than my other Glee poster, so uh, I don't know where I'll put it. Maybe I'll put it next to my Dexter poster. I don't know. But I'm very happy. I was going to get the Warbler shirt, but it was 40 bucks, and I already got two shirts, and I was also going to get a program for Glee Live, um, but it was 20 bucks, and it was in a different line. And I just, I just wanted to get out of the line and go and find our seats. So once we found our seats, it was a big, it was like a, 
it's like a long way to the guys who are seat because I'm like, where the hell is this at? My sister apparently said she saw the um, the door for the warblers, like their dressing room, and I was like, why didn't you tell me this when we were walking by? So I didn't get to see it, but my sister said she did. And so we went to our seat, and we were in row, we were in section 102 on the lower level, and if you went to the uh, Rosemont show um, the Allstate Arena, you know what I'm talking about, how their lower level isn't that lower, I mean, yeah, they do, but I was in the section where at the double letters, so it was before you had to step up on the stairs, so we were in row EE, -E, and I think we were, like, in the middle of the row, um, I wish we were, like, near the beginning of the row, but whatever, um, and next to us, there was nobody sitting next to me, and there was nobody sitting next to my sister, so we had space to move from this to look in that way or to look the other way. The stage was on this side and the little stage was on this side. So we were super close to both stages. Like we were right perfectly in the middle. Um, so we weren't so close to the other one or so close to the other. We were like right there and it was awesome. And I was freaking out right before even the show started. And we bought, we bought slushies. They had slushies. People were... Um, going around the crowd saying if you want to buy one and they're also throwing barf bags from Sue and I was like I don't really care I mean I was like yeah 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 but you know they're not going to throw it to everyone so I was like whatever uh, I didn't even care and then they had the opening act which was the LXD and then Twitch from So You Think You Dance I didn't even know my sister said she knew and liked him so I have a video of that too um, just a small video and um, and then it was like I don't know like 15 minutes till the show started and don't Stop Believing came on, and then Dog Days Are Over, and, um, I cannot think of the next one that came on, but I didn't record Valerie because I was singing during that one. I didn't record Dog Days Are Over because I was singing. I didn't, I didn't record Firework. <sighs> I recorded mostly all the songs, but I don't remember recording all of them. I, I remember I didn't record all of them. I don't think I recorded Jessie's Girl either. Um, just because I wanted to sing during those so <laughs> I wanted to rock out, you know. I didn't film Fat Bottom Girls because it's like the one song I never listened to. Um, but I really liked Puck's performance. He went across from the big stage to the littler stage and he like did this thing and me and my sister were laughing and Lauren was rocking out and he and both Mark he went around the crowd and as well as Darren and Chris did. So I, like, saw their faces, like, right there, especially Mark's, and I think Darren's, and I don't know which one I saw really up close, I mean, like, closer than the stage. I was, like, freaking out, like, oh, my God, I'm there in the flesh and seeing them. So if you do see my camera work on <laughs> some of those videos, I have really shaky hands. Like, you probably don't know this because I put it on something, but I really have, like, unsteady hands when I'm rocking out to a song. I, like, put the camera upwards, and you're, like, seeing the ceiling and, like, so if you get a headache, I'm warning you, I'm sorry, I'm very sorry, but I didn't record all the songs, but I did record most. I didn't record Silly Love songs either, and most of Rage Your Glass, because I wanted to rock out. And my sister was like, turn on the camera, turn on Rage Your Glass, so I was like, okay, I want to see my favorite part of the song, and I'll mention that in the Rage Your Glass video. Um, but it was so fun, and everyone, there was a lot of nice people, and they, there were some really awesome shirts there. And I liked everyone had seeing all their Born This Way shirts that they bought or ones that they made themselves. There were some really funny ones. And I will definitely, the, the minute it was over, me and my sister, like, I was like, I am so going next year. I am so going next year. Like, there is no doubt about it. I will be using the same way I came before. Um, thanks to my mom who planned all this out. Um, and then afterwards, the show was over. I wanted to go back and maybe buy a program, but they were, it was, that part was closed off because they were starting getting ready for the next show in a couple hours. So we had to go through the back and we saw the tour buses and apparently Heather came out, um, but sh she just walked by and everybody's freaking out like, oh yeah, everyone's going to come out. Guys, they're having a ne the next show, they need to prepare, they need to relax till the next show. So me and my sister were just like, let's go and we just left and yeah. But I was so, you know, happy and lucky and grateful and thankful that I was at this show. I was so like... It stoked. I was, like, a freaking out like a fangirl. I didn't even care if I was, like, annoying or anything. I was just like, I'm a gleek. I'm fucking proud of it. I'm going to rep, and I did. And I represented Clayne and Kurt, 
because he owns my heart and Glee owns my heart. It's the best show ever. Please, if you're considering going, um, if you still have a chance to go in your city, please do. Um, the tickets aren't that much. I would really recommend to get one either on the floor or the floor level. Don't really get the cheap ones because there was an upper level, and they probably weren't as great as the ones that I or the people on the floor had. I would really would suggest maybe to get one if you're more shorter to not get the one on the floor because you ain't going to see shit, okay? You're going to have to stand on your seat, and I don't think you'll be allowed to do that. But I loved it. My favorite performances. Um, I really love the claim skit. That was hilarious, and Kurt still called um, Blaine his honey and called him his Stedman. And I heard in the um, 8 o'clock one, he called him his pookie and sweetheart. That's hilarious. Um, also, I was really mad, or not really mad, sad that they didn't do Don't Rain On My Parade because Leah rocks out on that one. Um, I don't know what my favorite song is. I really love Born This Way. Everyone was, like, freaking out. There was, like, they were throwing shirts in the audience, and I was just, like, watching the performance, like, hell yeah, the performance, and everybody's like, ooh, free shirt, and I'm like, no, but I really loved the Artie songs, and, um, Single Ladies was fucking awesome, any Kurt song, um, the Warblers were amazing, I loved the Warblers, I was definitely crazy for them, so, if you have seen the show, what was your favorite part of it? If you haven't, I'm sorry. I'm not rubbing it in. I wish we could all go. Maybe next year I'm going to get the VIP thing and Bill, I'm going with you. And we're going to mission is going to do it. And we're going to rock out with our clean shirts. I'm going to be fucking awesome. I am just freaking, I love Glee. And I love this tour. And I hope that you guys can all go next year or see the movie that comes out in August. I know I will, even though I was there. I don't care. Um, so thank you for watching, subscribing. Follow me at Kurt Hummel at my heart at .com. Follow the shirt. <laughs> so, yeah, talk to you guys later. See you for my next video. Whatever that will be. Bye. Well, I can't tell you the story. So, last year when I was on tour, I confessed my love for Kurt.